Black Friday. <laughs> Black Friday. Black Friday and me and myself. Not a good combination, my friends. But anyway, how rude of me. Welcome aboard. Please come on board, my friends. Welcome aboard. Please. Come on in. Pull up the chair. Pull up some chairs. I got a, I got a fire going. <laughs> Did you bring some food? Did you bring anything to eat? Oh, man. I hope so. Hug. You know? We're about to set sail. <laughs> On this adventure of mine. Our adventure. Adventure of self-discovery. But anyway, before we get into any of anything, for Black Friday, before anything, I just want to say thank you. I want to say thank you to all my subscribers, new and old, potential. Also, I want a special thank you and a special shout out to Steve, the Doom 143. <clears throat> Uh, the book came in. Look at this. Oh, and if you see, like, white stuff on my... <laughs> it's paint, okay? It's paint. It's painting today, you know? Man's got to work. <laughs> I was painting the ship white on the inside. Well, anyway. So, the, the, when the book came in, all the way from Hawaii, the land... Of dreams, the tropical land of dreams, brother. Uh, Doom one forty three. Thank you so much. You know, uh, I won uh, your your contest. The book came in today. Uh, I was excited. You know, technically this is my first CGC book, Batman Rebirth, DC Universe Rebirth number one. Stanley Art Germ Lau variant. When you know, when you see a book and you instantly recognize the artist's work and the art artist, oh, you know, you got something special. And I would just want to say again, thank you so much, you know. You know, you know, a lot of people who are doing a lot of the, the contests say, I'm gonna do a contest soon. When I reach 200, I'm going to do a contest. I'm going to do it really good. You guys have inspired me. But anyway, uh, <clears throat> you know, you guys don't have, you know, that, they don't have to do this or anything, you know, but out of their goodness of their hearts and their generosity and the love for the community and for the passion of the, of the, of the hobby, you know, they, they do things like this. And it's just something, <laughs> to me, it's, it's mind-blowing. And I, I'm overwhelmed with joy, you know. And Steve, thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. You have no idea how much this means to me and how, how much I appreciate you guys doing this. You did, you did this, you know. Uh, and I love this book, man. CGC 9.4, Batman. Uh, and then with my girl Harley Quinn on the cover. Oh. <laughs> thank you, brother. From the bottom of my heart, all the way from Texas. I send you gratitude and greatness and, and I appreciate everything, you know. Thank you so much. You know, uh, you comment on my videos and you support me and everything and I love it. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much, you know. If you're not, if you're not subscribed to the Doom 143, come on, man. Subscribe to the man. Awesome. Stand-up guy. Awesome family man hard worker, and the passion for the comic comic books, the comic book industry. What can I say, man? That passion, his passion is just like overflows like a cup of coffee. <laughs> Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Okay. Let's let, let down our sails. And let the wind fill them. And let us move forward. <laughs> okay, so, and again, I'm going to date this video, Black Friday. I find myself on Black Friday, a rude awakening. <laughs> Black Friday and I are not friends, my friends. We are not. 
for oil, water. Don't mix. I have bad experiences with Black Friday. Almost life threatening experiences. <laughs> but I find myself at a Black Friday store today because, you know, my mother needed a, something and I had to go get it. And I didn't want her to go to that, that stuff. You know, people out there with me. <laughs> They'll hit you. <laughs> they run you over. Get there. Get some bullshit. <laughs> For me, with the hands of my arms. Oh, you know, don't mess with me, man. Pull back and stop. <laughs> anyway, uh, this year was different. There's no violence or anything. Well, I guess, you know, uh, I should tell you the story of what happened that one that one year. It was about 10 years ago. And <clears throat> had a, this is grocery store slash department store slash, slash one of those stores, like a Walmart, you know, like they have everything. But this is kind of like a local one, but they went all, all out. They, they, out. they opened this huge this huge store. So on Thanksgiving and then the day before, the day after, like Friday, they were gonna open at six in the morning. It was a grand opening. Plus they were having all sorts of cool ass deals, man. Like flat screens for like a hundred bucks and stuff like that, you know. And uh, <laughs> I decided the first day to go check it out. You know, I couldn't sleep. So I get there like around three or four o'clock in the morning and there's already a line of people going around the store. And uh, I said, you know what, you know, studying the place, I go, you know what, I'm gonna come back tomorrow, at one o'clock. <laughs> because they were announcing, they had announced that they had DVD players, DVD players for 10 bucks. $10, my friends, yeah. <laughs> So I go back home, go back to sleep. And I said, you know what? I'm going to sleep some more during the day. Get my strength up. Have a good, good dinner. Snacks. I remember that's when the, uh, that iPod player, the MP3 player, the one that looked like a, like a stick of gum. I forget what it's called. I had bought it. So I'm going to take this with me. And uh, so I get there, and I'm like, this, this was like one in the morning. And I was already the, 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 the sixth man in line, you know? I go, damn, I'm already late. So many people in front of me. I want to be the first one. <laughs> so I'm there, you know, and the line gets bigger and longer. <laughs> Goes around the star. Goes out to the streets and sidewalk. They go, damn, man. It's a good thing I came when I did. So anyway, well, this store, this store has, Thor. <laughs> this store, you know, has these doors. They're like, they're like, how, how, can, I, how can I put this? They're like, uh, like those doors, those, those, those doors that you go, like the garage doors that they go up and down. This is like made out of metal. It's like Fort Knox and shit, you know? Well, I live in a bad side of town. <laughs> so, at 6 o'clock in the morning, right at 6, these doors start going up. Click, 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 right? Dude, the first three, four, five people in front of me, they race. Man, they like, they're like all, like the flash. They take off, right? So I start running too, you know. <laughs> and I'm wearing shorts and I have like heavy things in my pockets and they're banging me left and right. <laughs> and this store is huge, man, you know. And then they put all like the electronics and the DVDs and all that stuff at the opposite side at the corner at the back of the store. So there I go, huffing and puffing, man. Racing down the aisles and shit, you know? And all of a sudden, I'm late, dude. I am late. And there's already a sea of people. 
and I see one of the store clerks or the stock people already handing out the DVD players, right? He was like on an I a little tiny island of DVD players, and he was like on the top, and he was handing them out, and the, the people were all around, you know? You see that arms and the hands like in the movies. Oh, sorry. <laughs> like in the movies, you know? They're like trying to, try to get you and try to get, grasp each DVD player, whatever they get, you know? So I'm there, and I get in the middle, and then people start crushing me, man. They're like crushing me, crushing me. And I can't breathe. I start like, like a panic attack, you know? And I feel like my heart went up to my throat and stuff, you know? And I start, you know what? I start getting mad. So I start, my arms started flailing. My right, then my left. And I start, people, I start seeing people fly off. <laughs> and then, then, one, then the guy starts giving me a DVD player. And I reach for it. And I'm reaching for it. And I grab it. And I'm taking it back to myself, you know? So I can grab it with both hands. People are trying to take it away from me. Can you imagine? And I had to like yank it out of the guy's hand, fight with people, and I went to the part of the of the store where there's the freezers and shit. And man, I was like huffing and puffing, and my I felt my heart wanted racing, you know, like it wanted to pop out of my chest. <laughs> After that day, my friends, I swore never again. Okay, swore to myself never again. <laughs> Ten years later, <laughs> you know that DVD player is still around. I gave it to a friend of mine. She, uh, she's moved to Ronald, and I think she still has it. That good little DVD player. Ten dollars. <laughs> Ten dollars DVD player equals life. <laughs> But anyway, so I find myself uh, at start today, you know. I uh, wanted to get an appliance, you know. I wanted to get some some stuff, you know. But I wasn't going to go. I wasn't going to get up in the morning like that early. But I got up and I, got, I was rudely awakened <laughs> at 9 o'clock, 9.30. And I said, okay, well, I'll go, you know, need some stuff for here for the house. And I'll go get it. <laughs> Unfortunately, you know, it's funny because I get there to the store. And it was like as if it was like a I was like in a bubble, like a bubble in time, you know, like it was like uh, I don't know, it was like like time didn't matter here, right? Or like people didn't know about it, about this place, you know. It was weird, and I saw all Star Wars fifty percent off, you know. I said fifty percent off, dude. I'm there. <laughs> well, I was. <laughs> But it said, I didn't read the fine print, you have to buy one, you know, and you get the other one at 50% off. So I got these two. I think that's the new robot from, the one on the left, the new robot from Rogue One. And of course, the dude, the crybaby, <laughs> Kylo Ren. But he looks cool, I like this, I like, I like them, you know. So both of these were like, they were like eight bucks. So I got them both for 12, so it was cool. So I got those, you know. And uh, what else did I get? Uh, got some pencils. Yeah. <laughs> and I got the first season of Mr. Robot for ten bucks. Not bad, you know. <laughs> anyway, so then I find out, you know, so I'm, I got on Facebook and uh, you know, just looking around. <laughs> And I find out that my, that my friend who had the sale last Saturday, who was celebrating his 20 years, he was having another sale uh, after Thanksgiving Day sale. And I go, oh, he's going to have the same stuff again, like 50% off wall books, 50% off back issues. I said, well, I'm going. So there I go. And I see him there, you know, and I tell him, hey, what's up? He goes, I didn't know you were going to have this. He goes, I didn't know either until last night. <laughs> So I said, was the same principle, same everything? Huh? He goes, yes. Same principle, same everything. Except for the new issues. The new issues, I think he had them off for like 25% off. And this is the one that came out this past Wednesday. The Amazing Spider-Man, annual number one. And we see Spidey, awesome pulse. But he's in La Capital. In El DF. La Ciudad de Mexico. In Mexico City. 
you know, this is the tower or this where the angels at in the heart of the city. Oh my goodness. Mexico City. Mexico City needs to be experienced by everybody because it's a beautiful, beautiful place. And at the at the same time, very scary. I think I almost died there like three or four times. <laughs> But more of that in another video. <laughs> uh, but this is, this is such a great cover. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, then I got this one. This was in the back issue bins. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man number 211, Marvel Comics Group. The Submariner and Spidey. The Submariner just knocked the crap out of him. No one may attack the Submariner's Underwater Kingdom. Not even you, Spider-Man. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, 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 mean, I never got into the Submariner, but I, I don't know. I, it's like, what, what does one have to do with the other? <laughs> I got this one. I think I have this one. I don't remember. But I got it. Again, it was $3. Hydra Man and the Sandman team up. Here's mud your eyes, Spidey. The amazing Spider-Man. Of number 217. I have a v VHS copy of um, a Spider Man cartoon where the Sandman and Hydra Man literally team up and they come together as one. <laughs> oh, not in that way. <laughs> well, they mix each other and they become like some sort of monster, some, some sort of slushy monster. And that cover, I should have brought it up. That cover is so creepy and and cool at the same time. And uh, it's it's very I don't know. And it's kind of it feels it's it's weird because it looks like like this creature is lonely, you know. And it looks like it's very sad. But anyway, check cover. Hydra Man, sad man. Uh, I got this one too. Get another, another Neymar. Uh, let me Spider Man number 214. Spidey and the Submariner fight side by side against the Frightful Four. I said, okay. And I got this one. He had these for half off too. I think that's a Delato variant from the Spider Verse number 13. I think it's Delato. It looks del like Delato. That's really cool. I love it. Look at that. Wow. The the black suit Spider Man and the and the what is it? The Fantastic Four one when he joined the Fantastic Four? Carnage? I don't know. But anyway, it's cool. I, I don't know who that is. Oh, and he had this one. Look at this. Oh so a lot of YouTubers have that that cover. And I said, you know what? I want to get it. He had one, so I took it. Nice. Riri Williams and Mr. Tony Stark. I think he's, is he dead? I don't know. I'm not into, uh, I don't like Iron Man. <laughs> I only liked it when he came on in Spartan, when he came on books with Spidey and stuff. My first comic, I think my first, 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 or my first comic that I started c collecting was, I think it was a Marvel team up. Uh, where it was Spider-Man and, and, and Shellhead. <laughs> That's what Spidey calls him. Iron Man. We'll blow that one on another video. Anyway, but I love this cover, man. Look at this. Beautiful. Rui Williams. Awesome. Uh, he had that one for half off. And then this one, too. To renew your vows with Spidey and the little girl. Oh. Half off. Came to me for like seven bucks. Damn. Awesome. I love it. And let me see here. And then you had this one. I remember some of some of you guys, you know, you had this one and I saw it. Hit there for 15. Give it to me for half. Fantastic Report number 94, 15 cents. The world's greatest comic magazine. The return of the frightful four. That's a cool cover, man. Nice. And you know, that was the, I was, it was funny because I was like Looking at the, you know, the last, this one right here. It's the same dudes. Yeah. This is Sandman in this crappy costume. And Medusa's there, but Medusa's not here. But this is the Fireful 4 too. Huh. Anyway. 
Korinke Dink. But I love that. I love this cover. I love it. It's cool. Kind of, kind of cool. Kind of like a haunted house type thing, you know? Awesome. Uh, anyway, but anyway. So, the piece, the recess taunts. <laughs> Ooh la la. Is this one? <laughs> this one is so hilarious. Look at that. Look at that. World's Unknown presents the thing called Kill Dozer. <laughs> ah, yes! Ah. You dare defy me, and so you must die! That bulldozer! It's alive! And it's trying to destroy us! Based on the spindling shocker by Theodore Sturgeon, author of It! Ah. I seen on TV. Fantastic. A talking, killing bulldozer. Dude, this is probably like the best ever. Ha ha ha! Look at that! Oh! <laughs> Eat your heart out, Amazing Fantasy number 15. <laughs> oh, this made my week, brothers and sisters. This made my week. <laughs> nice. Look at that. A killing bulldozer. Oh, oh. I love it. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Worth the price of admission. He had it for $15. Half off. Yes. Yes. Oh, man, I love that book, man. Damn. Damn. Oh, best. Let's see, what else I got? What else we got? So it's going to be a mixture of stuff that I hadn't posted before. You know, uh, Cold Conspiracy, Amazing Spider-Man number 21. I think I have the... No, I don't. Uh, uh, Reborn, number two. Greg Capullo and Mr. Mark Millar. Okay. Reborn, issue two. Did I, did I, did I, show, I don't remember. Did I show this one, too? No, I haven't showed that one yet. Okay, here it is. Number two. I haven't read these yet, but I'm going to. I am. I promise. Capullo. Millar. Awesome team. Uh, look at this cover. I love this cover, man. Kind of has like, kind of like that Frank Miller-esque type, you know? Beautiful. Beautiful. And this one, the, the, I think this is the regular one, I think. I'm not sure. Okay. I haven't bought a Spawn comic in a while, but I love this one. It's falling down. Really cool. The black and white sketch. I didn't like the other one too much, but this one, this one's great. I love it. Man. You know, it's funny how, how the pencils, when there's no color, it's got a different energy, you know. It's got a different type of energy. I love it. Beautiful stuff. Damn you, McFarlane. Uh, also, Batman number four. I haven't read these since number two or three. That's a great cover. Great cover. And then uh, the Jock one, too. Damn. Batman with chainsaw, his weapon of choice. Awesome. That's fantastic, man. Look at that. Damn, Jock. Damn. Let's see what else? Billy and Veronica. Adam Hughes. What can I say? Beautiful. Just beautiful stuff, man. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, come on. Superman. Number nine. With sun. I think this one they're in a museum or something. Uh, then. Teen Titans number one. Rebirth. I uh, heard Spectacular Spider Grandpa talking about this and he loved it. So, shout out to Spectacular Spider Grandpa. Love your videos, my friend. Love your videos. The top ten stuff in the Mary Jane Award. <laughs> awesome. Another one? Uh, Superman number 10. Oh, I haven't read this one, but you know, there's the, they're, they're getting ready for Super Sons, right? There's the, the new 
It's like a new arc where John and uh, Damien, I guess they team up or something. I'm not sure. Uh, so I can't wait. I can't wait to, to, to read that one. What else? What else? What else? Uh, I found this one. They said that this one's the origin of Mjolnir. Origin of Mjolnir. Oh, I love it. I love it in the movie where he says, uh, where Odin says, Mjolnir is a fitting companion. It could be used as a weapon of destruction or as, an, as a tool to rebuild. Oh, love it. Oh, damn, I love those Thor movies. Favorite. MCU Cinematic Universe uh, cons Conspiracy number two An Amazing Spider-Man event Number two I think uh -huh. Delato Right I don't know Maybe And then the regular cover Oh crap You know what And I forgot I have another one I have some other ones That I need to show you guys But anyway Next video That has to do with this one Oh Yes Action figure variant. Mary Jane and the little girl. Annie, I think, right? Annie? And then the uh, the variant for Clone Conspiracy number two. Uh, the two, the second of the, of, uh, I think it's gonna, the interconnecting cover that I have the other one too, right? Yeah. And then I don't collect Aquaman, but when I saw this cover, oh man, this is a beautiful cover. Look at that. It's beautiful. Again, well, this is the one I did on looks alone. Oh, I love, I love looks. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, Mira, I love it. Beautiful, beautiful. Mm. And then, well, this is from my personal collection. I found this in a box. Yes. Now. It's the reprint. It's not. It's not the real, the regular one. You know, uh, Marvel premiere featuring Ghost Rider, Man Thing, Morpheus, and Werewolf by Night in the Legion of Monsters, the most spine-tingling team-up of all. Action in the mysterious Marvel matter. <laughs> the Ghost Rider. Stay back. Even we don't stand a chance against that. Yes, they're talking about me. Yes. <laughs> and I think it has to it says here Marvel Milestones featuring uh, Legion of Monsters Spider-Man Brother Voodoo and Dracula so it's got like three books in there uh, Fathers I don't, I don't know I didn't even know I had to I always wanted this one well the the original right the, the first print but hey found this take it uh, let me see what else what else I guess uh that's it. Huh? And of course I got more. <laughs> Look at this little Batman. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I won that. I won this <laughs> at my friend's 20th anniversary store celebration. <laughs> Well, my friends, well, what can I say? What can I say, my friends? <clears throat> Thank you so much for joining me in this episode. I'm going to knock out maybe, I'm going to see if I can knock out a couple more. Uh, try to see if I can do a, a couple of contest videos. Hell, maybe I'll do another one of these right now. <laughs> uh, <coughs> excuse me. Thank you so much uh, for watching. Thank you so much for joining me on this on this uh, excursion <laughs> on this quest of my my friends. Thank you so much for watching. Um, what can I say? What can I say? Just thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, remember this one. That's great, man. Love it. Found this in a box. <laughs> Great cover, man. Great cover. Look at that. Blackest Night, number one. Hell yeah. Well, I think I'm going to get rid of that. Oh, and I forgot this one. I have this one, too. Look at that. Batman, number nine. Bane, 
all thinking all on skulls and stuff and on Batman. <laughs> thinking about what he's going to have for dinner. <laughs> oh, yes. I feel like I, I just started this video, my friends. Now it's time to go. Time to go. Yes? Yes. Beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. Anyway, well, thank you so much. Um, keep hunting. Stay hungry. Most importantly, don't do Black Friday. <laughs> Be a hero to everyone, my friends. Oh, man, I love that car. Yeah. Damn. And this one too. Oh, dude. The Doom 143. Shout out, my friend. Shout out to you, my friend. Thank you. All right. Peace.